Uppingham Community College is a successful secondary school for students aged 11 to 16. It's in a rural part of the world in Rutland and uh, we have about 900 students on roll. We were Ofsteaded this year, we got a, a good judgement which we were really happy with. In the selection of our TLC leaders we were very keen to try and give uh, developmental opportunities to some of our staff who perhaps didn't have responsibility in their subject areas and so we wanted to give them a, an opportunity to lead a team to work more deeply uh, with regards to their teaching and learning. So we chose people, or we asked people, who we knew would be keen to try something, maybe a little bit out of their comfort zone. And we found that was one of the strengths of the programme. The way that we structured the TLCs here at UCC was that we divided up our 60 or so teachers and some TAs and, and HLTAs who wanted to be involved into five different TLCs each one with 10 to 12 different members of staff in it. Um, we spent quite a long time getting the balance right in those five different TLCs and we felt that to be very important, getting a balance of gender, subject, experience, uh, length of service at the school was very important to get that just right and we, we were pleased with how that worked and that was felt to be one of, one of the strengths of the model. As a participant, my initial concerns were would this be the same as many other sort of training after school sessions where you go along and you're very much being taught to suck eggs um, and there was a feeling like that among the staff generally but one of the reasons I chose to become a TLC leader um, when someone else stepped down was because I saw that it was a little more than that that it was really having an impact on my teaching and I thought actually the more I buy into this the more I put in as a leader and engage with the project, the more I was going to get out of it myself for my own professional development. I think leading the TLCs has really supported my professional development. It gave me an opportunity to facilitate the meetings, it gave me an opportunity to chair a meeting and to be with different personalities and to make sure it ran smoothly and as a teacher you don't get the opportunity to do that. One of the biggest impacts on our students is that You've, we see them really taking a lot more responsibility for their own learning right through from year 7 to year 11. Especially lower down, I think sometimes it was possible to underestimate what they were capable of, but enabling them to set their own learning targets and be much more aware of the progress they're making has meant that actually we've seen what they're actually capable of and can push them that little bit further. At the end of the two-year EFA programme, our GCSE results were the best ever for the school in terms of percentage a star to C equivalents, uh, we saw an increase of 9% for the year 2017 uh, with increases in the three core subjects in English, Maths and Science. I think the EFA programme has had a really big impact on the culture of the school. In the way that we approach our CPD, I think we've become a much more critical, research, evidence-based set of teachers who are keen to look into educational theory with a critical eye and think, well, is this really robust research that this is based on? Is this something that we can use as an institution? Is this something that I can use as an individual which is going to work for me in my classroom? The Embed Informative Assessment Programme has um, really helped improve my practice in the classroom, I think. It's allowed me to become far more reflective as a teacher. It's given me the time as well after school in training sessions to share ideas with colleagues and to look at my own teaching practice and think, well, perhaps, yes, I've done that for many years, but does that necessarily still work? Um, and to look at new research and to try out new ideas in what really essentially was quite a safe environment with colleagues I trust and respect, but then thinking, right, how do I take that back into my classroom and develop that further? The sort of structure of it helped because it was time that was dedicated to actually focusing on your teaching practice. The groups that we were in we were able to feed back and get support if something didn't go well um, and also share your successes and, and try other ideas that people had out in your own classroom. It was really useful as well having the teachers in there observing us. One of the best things that we developed as a department out of this was we created a 360 revision room for our year 11s which basically incorporated all of our favourite FA techniques from the whole process so there was lots of stuff really geared at engaging them as activators of their own learning and um, entrance exit cards the whole room is kind of like an enable table in itself 
and that's probably one of the best things that we've developed from it and that we will continue to use in years going forwards. One technique that I've particularly developed through um, EFA is um, the use of live marking. Being an English teacher, obviously we have a lot, a lot of marking to get through um, and particularly in the last few years I've had a, a very able top set year 11 group um, who will produce reams and reams of writing um, and it's always been that age-old problem for me of how I get through their assessment and give them regular assessment and regular feedback that they can act on quickly and so we have introduced in the department a lot more use of the live marking and we will put stuff under our visualisers, uh, we'll use student examples, we'll get the students to self-assess and peer assess a lot more using the shared success criteria and it really is one of those things that the more they do it the better they get at it and to start with it was it was a bit clumsy and they didn't understand it um, and they thought it was just a way of us not marking their work but the, the more we've progressed with it it has shown great dividends really. I think the impact on the students has been to develop their independence. It's giving them the, the tools to think a bit more about their learning and then give them the confidence to know that actually it's okay to not know everything and that actually through making mistakes is the best way that we can learn. One thing I've tried to develop in my EFA practice is um, I've been using and developing students as resources of their own learning um, and student experts. So when I have been teaching a lesson, I will identify somebody that is, is particularly strong. And then when I'm marking their book to back up what I've seen in lessons, I will record in the front of their book, I will write fractions expert or percentage experts. Um, and then in the next lesson, if somebody is struggling, I can then use, I can say, OK, who, who in here is a percentage expert? And they can then go and support other students with their learning that are struggling. And they're all very keen to get one of these expert labels. So it encourages motivation within the classroom as well. A practice that I think has worked really, really well with my subjects, which is actually entrance and exit cards. So initially I used exit cards because that was part of the programme, but I've adapted it as well to be entrance and exit cards to assess all students' understanding at the end of the lesson. And it gives you a really good way to see how they've understood, not just through a verbal way, but that they've written it down. I can then reflect upon that at the end of the lesson. I can see where they do understand it and where they don't understand it really quickly. So it's more efficient. What TLCs have meant to me is that when we came into the project, I had been teaching about 13, 14 years by then. I think a lot of my teaching had got stale, but I hadn't realised it. And I think TLCs were a really good opportunity to actually go back over lessons that I'd been teaching for years and years and really inject a whole new slant on them. It really shook up the way I've approached my planning um, and my teaching in a wholly positive way.